Hi YouTube, today I'm going to do a uh, quick review, simple, on my Springfield 9mm subcompact. When you buy this, you get a nice, oh, decent black case. Um, you get a holster that I don't really care for, it comes with it. A uh, decent speed reloader that I actually really like. And a holster for two extra mags. Um, I wouldn't carry it around on me, but uh, I use it down at the farm, uh, you know, at the range, whatnot kind of bulky. I, I don't really care for it. But. On to the good stuff. Uh, comes with a uh, 16 round full mag. Uh, defeats the purpose of a uh, the weapon being subcompact. This is good for the range. Um, empty magazine. Nothing in it and the weapon is empty. You guys can see. You can see the difference here between the two magazines. Uh, the big one holds 16 rounds, small one holds 13. There is a difference. If you you know conceal carry this, uh, there is a little bit of a difference. Um, here is the uh, better look at the 13 round. It's pretty small. Fit in the palm, it fit in your hand. Uh, if, I mean, if you wanted to put it in your pocket, it fit in your pocket. But obviously, you want to use a holster. Um, I really like the magazine release on this. Um, one of the reasons I bought it, my thumb, I kind of got a large. Uh, it doesn't really reach that far, so I actually have to take my hand off the gun to get to it. But it's got a release over here. It makes it a lot easier for me as somebody with I can't really reach out. Um, here is the extended magazine. Makes the gun a little larger. Obviously, you can tell. Uh, you can actually also get your pinky finger on here for a better grip. Works really well. Here is the small one. You can only really get two fingers on there, but you can get your pinky finger on the bottom. I don't have any problem gripping it. I got pretty big hands. It, it's really a fun gun to shoot. Real easy to hold. I uh, really like it. One thing about this, uh, it's got a, uh, up here on top, there's a round in the chamber. This will pop out a little bit. I got some dummy rounds I'll demonstrate. But this little indicator will come out. The striker here will also be out when the gun is ready to fire. Um, I do have three dummy rounds here. I'll show how this indicator works. Okay, we got three in here, dummies. can't see it is a dummy round. The indicator comes up here letting you know there is a round in there as you can see. Also safety, the, the handle safety here will not, the gun will not function at all if this is pushed back. Can't rock the slide back. Will not do anything. You have to have your hand on there for it to work. Um, some people say that if you're hammered or you hit in a gun battle, you wouldn't be able to use this. Personally, if it's life or death, you're going to find a way to use it. So if you can only get your finger on the trigger, and we are empty still, um, if your hand was hit back here, if you're able to get a, a finger on the trigger, I mean, in a life or death, it's really not going to matter. You'll find a way to hold the gun, and you'll find a way to make this work. I like it because it's extra security. Um, as far as field stripping this thing, must have the magazine out. There's a uh, lever here you'll pull up. Make sure she's empty. Bring the slide back. You will have to dry fire the gun. That's it. Pretty simple. 
just like a Glock. I gotta take it apart. I just recently cleaned it, and I don't want to get it all oil all over the place. Um, it's got a mount here for a light, laser, whatever you want to put on. Um, I someday might buy one. Don't really have any reason to. Um, it's really pretty simple to clean. By the way, uh, if anybody's curious, I don't, I don't buy that gun scrubber. Um, I use non-chlorinated brake parts cleaner. I've sprayed this thing several times. It's never lost any color. It hasn't done. I've gotten some on the polymer frame. It hasn't taken any color off. It cleans up real good with non-chlorinated brake parts cleaner. Um, I really, the gun scrubber is pretty much the same thing. Um, put it back together. Real simple. Make sure this lever's up. Lock the slide back. Lower the level down. It's good to go. I use this as a concealed carry weapon. Um, it's very comfortable, very fun to shoot. Um, I put in any kind of round through it. It's taken everything. Um, you can find these things. Bass Pro, I'd never buy anything from Bass Pro. Cabela's, uh, about 560 before tax. I bought this at a pawn shop, brand new for 501 with tax. So you can find a good deal on them. It's a very good gun. That's really all I got to say about it. Thanks.